Yes, you're seeing double. Double the Dia. I have a Dia style box for the first time in two, maybe three years. I had given up on Dia style, totally canceled, went over to Stitch Fix, really love Stitch Fix, and I have a Dia active box. So let me sit this down and tell you guys what the heck's going on. I had been seeing so many girls with cute 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 dia style boxes lately and i thought okay maybe i just jumped off the wagon too soon they were still getting acclimated with their customers still getting new brands some of the brands that they used to like use a lot are out of business so that means they brought in new brands so i was like i'm gonna give it a try i have a few things that i really want like like a pair of black jeans and you know just some stuff to rotate into my capsule so I ordered it. I just ordered it. I changed my profile a little bit. I took off the business casual, made it a little bit more casual, and then I just went ahead and ordered my active box too. Um, I recently went through my active wear, gave some stuff to my mom, and I just want to see what I got. But, spoiler alert, there's a sports bra. Sports bra gate 2019 is continuing. <laughs> I've said so many times, I do not want sports bras, and I still get sports bras. But anyhow, I'm gonna keep an open mind, and maybe it's the best sports bra I've ever seen, and they just had to send it to me. Maybe. Maybe it matches something else in the box. These are all possibilities, but I have explicitly said, you guys have seen me type it into the box, no sports bras. I still get sports bras. And I've seen some people canceling their Dia Active, but I don't want to give up because I gave up on the style box and now I've been seeing people get really beautiful style boxes. So let's get into the try on. Yes, my nose is stuffy. Dia and Co. It's a styling service like many others. It's $20 styling fee. You fill out a survey, your stylist picks out stuff based on different styles that you like. Sometimes they look at your Instagram and, um, colors and fabrics and all these things what you like what you don't like like for mine i always say no animal products because i'm vegan so they don't send anything that is non-vegan so um you pay your 20 dollars. anything that you like in the box the 20 dollars styling fee is deducted so if you like something that's 60 dollars, you only pay 40 dollars additional if you don't like anything you forfeit your styling fee and if you like everything you get 25 percent off i think i've covered everything i'll put my links to dn code down below if you like to try it and let's get on to the chit chat try on i don't think i'm going to do a side by side today i think i'm just going to try it on and go through it because my allergies are on fleek i know people don't say that anymore i'm old i don't know what's cool um but let's get into the try on oh i just had a cough attack the cedar fever is killing me hi eden i'm back with another great box for you to explore she says she's back as if i don't know if she was my stylist before her name is luna and I haven't been styled for like two to three years, but maybe she is my old stylist. These pieces, as always, were handpicked with you and only you in mind. I think you love these pieces. Let's dive in. I don't want to read it because it'll tell me um, what's in there. So this first item is Mucho Conservative. <laughs> so it's a very high neck, three quarter length top with two buttons here. I'll go ahead and back up. I don't have on pants, so ignore that. So it's a very long shirt. It'll definitely cover whatever you have going on. I'll show you what it looks like with the next item in a second, but this is basically what it looks like. Not super into it. I do think it's cute. I think it looks very cute on. Um, it's just not my personal style. Like looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, that looks cute, especially like, with my hair in like this bob length. I'm like, oh, this looks really nice. It's super comfortable, super soft. Um, for me, honestly, a Dia box is a win if I find one item that I like in it. Okay, so these, I can tell already um, that I should have gotten a 22. I said that I went up to a 24, um, but it's just like in, a lot of brands are like juniors plus and I definitely wear 24 in those jeans but these I feel like I might need a 22 um, and if they have a 22 I'll exchange them for it but we'll see let's not think too far ahead oh nope they fit your girl's fat um, obviously oh no they fit good they're comfortable I like these they're just very stretchy so I thought they were not gonna fit so I'm gonna drop you down a little bit so you can see so again here's the top this is what it looks like in 
Then these are the ankle jeans. Here's the back of the top. It's just plain, comes just over the back. Like this is a cute outfit. <coughs> if I was still working an office job, I would totally, totally wear this. So this is what they look like. I like mine just a little tighter on the ankle. They're a little bit like loosey goosey. Um, but overall, a really good fitting jean. It's what the booty looks like in them. They do have real pockets. No real pockets in the front, fake ones in the front. And they're pretty high waisted on me. As you can see, they, they do have like a good amount of room in them, which is fine. The next item is this Molly and Isidore jacket. I'll tell you all the brands and sizes at the very end too. Um, this is in a 3X and it's like a utility type jacket. Um, it has pockets on the side. I don't think this is gonna zip on me. Okay, oh no. All right, so it does zip on me. And I think it's a cute, it's like, I don't know. Oh, it has a button and it can be longer. But when it's longer, it's not long enough to be like a full, oh yeah, it's full length. It seems short because I had it up like this. But yeah, it's long and it's cute. I gotta turn around and look at it. You know, I like this jacket. Um, I think that it's really cute. I think it'll look cute with some of my dresses, some of my skirts. Yeah, this is a cute jacket. I definitely will keep this so far. I'm on the fence about the pants. How do you button this again? Where's the snappy? There it is. Um, I'm on the fence about the pants. But I do like the way that this jacket fits. I think it's very cute. So this is a good jacket. I always see these jackets online, but I'm not sure how they fit. And then I don't want to go through the return process. So I always just kind of skip out on them. But I'm glad they sent this because I do really like it open and closed. I think it's a nice like casual jacket. So good job, Dia. So this next dress is super cute. <laughs> I love the detail on it. It's just a bit too like where am I going in this dress, basically? Um, I have a lot of dresses, as we know, and I do like them all to have a fun, funky detail. Let me back up, and I'll see how I feel fully about it. So, it is, it's just above the knee. It doesn't have pockets. It comes in at the waist a little bit, but it doesn't flare out very much. It kind of drapes a bit. Um, so it doesn't feel exactly like a skater skirt or anything like that, but I think this is a very cute dress. I think it looks great on me. Um, the back is just plain. Let's see. The um, back is just plain. There's nothing interesting back there. I do think that this is a very cute dress. I think it would be nice in multiple seasons. I'm just not sure that I need it. Um, I want to find things that like I need and I love, but I don't really need this dress. And I feel like things like this don't last very long just because like this gets caught on things in the wash and it gets caught on zippers of your jackets and things like that. But it is, if I was still working in an office, again, I would like this dress a lot. Um, I would wear it with some stockings and a blazer and it would look very cute, a very fun, fresh take on business. Um, so I would love this dress. So this is like an A plus for Dianco. I just don't think I need it. And the last thing is this beautiful kimono. So this is what the kimono looks like. It's very, very cute. Um, I think that this will be cute over a lot of my black dresses that I already have. And just seeing this over this is like, oh yeah, this will look cute over my existing black dresses. I don't need more black dresses in order to wear this. But I like it. It closes all the way. I could belt it if I wanted to. And it has a nice sleeve that has room. Sometimes kimonos, they're just 
too tight in the arms this will look cute with jeans it will look very cute with the black jeans which I feel like I've decided that I need a 22 in. <laughs> They're just a little too roomy for me. I bent down and like my butt was out. I was like, okay, you definitely need a 22 in these. Um, so I like this too. So this is honestly a very good style box. The only thing that like, if I were keeping things just in excess that I didn't need, the only thing that I would send back would be that gray shirt. But I don't need everything in the box. So I think I'll keep the kimono the jacket and the jeans if they have them in a size 22 but yeah good style i'm mostly naked so i hope you can't see my butt in the mirror behind me at any time so molly and isadora made that cute jacket it is the yukon anorak jacket and it's black in a size 3x the short sleeve kimono is called the l short sleeve kimono by Mary Bell and it's a 3x um, <clears throat> the airy 3 4 shawl collar with buttons shirt was by East Adeline and that was a 3x the rosemary lace dress was by Prescott New York and that was a 3x the garnet skinny jeans were by a brand called Kinsey they're in black and they are a size 24 onto the active before we start i see some color so i think that might be a good sign hi eden i hope you're doing well i think these latest picks will match more closely with your life and style if your um style if your size or style preferences have changed please update your profile so we have the most accurate info and if you have any questions email, email us at dia support and carolina is the person on my box this is not my old stylist they keep switching my stylist on my style on my active box and i kind of wish they would just leave it the same so that one person could get to see what i like and dislike instead of if i send back a couple pieces they're like oh she doesn't like it change stylist leave my stylist so that she can figure out what i like you know um you guys know i have updated my style profile i changed it to like yoga and less impact stuff and no sports bras but we already got a sports bra and i think i may be the largest size in the sports bras so they keep sending 3x but none of them fit me properly because i have like a really wide side boob area and even though i've like explained my sizing so this first tank top it reminds me of a mermaid um it is by 11 by venus williams and it's just a tank top and it has this mesh detail at the bottom and it has mesh detail on the side coming down the sides if you can see that i think that it's pretty i don't know what do you think um so I think it's pretty but I just don't know if it's my style necessarily I don't wear a lot of blue in general so I don't know I'll think on it but that's the first item in my box the next item is this blue jacket by fitness zone it doesn't have thumb holes but it is very cute normal um i think this looks cute as an outfit i feel like i look like a fitness model this is what the plus size fitness models always look like you know that's what i look like but not the cute toward fitness model like the Catherine's fitness model and i'm just not super into it i don't really like blue i don't really like this tone of blue um maybe you guys think it looks good on me but I'm not a super fan of it, honestly. It does have a little bit of like texture detail on the side. If you can see, there's like a different, like this is flat, this is textured. Um, to add a little bit of extra stretch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to process if I like it or not. My initial is no just because it's not my color scheme typically but it's like will you like this with a pair of black leggings would this be comfortable for you i think it would be comfortable for me 
Um, but for some reason it just looks like swimwear to me for some reason. So um, like old lady swimwear. I don't know. We'll see. I might like it. We'll just keep going. <coughs> okay. So here is the next top. It has little splits here. Um, it's a very thick shirt and it has like some floral detailing, which is cute for a sweater. But how is this active wear? Like who's working out in this? Like I just don't understand who's working out in this at all. Like I get the jacket, it's like easy to take off once you run into the gym from the cold. But this just looks like loungewear, like pajamas maybe. Um, like this would be cute pajamas and maybe I would keep it as pajamas, but I just don't see it as like active wear. It's not moisture wicking whatsoever. Neither is that lash jacket. They're both like very heavy materials. <coughs> and maybe if you don't work out a lot, you wouldn't know the difference. You'd just be like, Oh, a sweatshirt, not knowing that you would catch on fire <laughs> wearing this. And the last three items I tried on, um, I have a sports bra, surprise. And all three items are for, from Active Zone. So to get a box from a company, it's an activewear company, and three of the items be from the same exact company, I'm like, what? <clears throat> Can you mix it up for me some? I don't know. This is cute for someone I'm sure it I mean it's a cute shirt but it's not it doesn't ring active wear to me at all so this is the sports bra they sent it's from active zone it's a little bit too tight honestly not comfortable for me and it's not a special sports bra so if I say no sports bras at all you send me like the most basic sports bra and think that I would like this or want to keep it it's just very odd and here's a secret this is not my next dia box I actually got a box like three weeks ago and I didn't like it so I just sent the whole thing back it was just like a basic white shirt some leggings I didn't like that felt too thin, a jacket that wasn't cute, like a sports bra. <laughs> like I wasn't interested in it at all, so I just sent it back. So this is the box after me sending back a whole box. I don't know. I might be done with Active, guys. <laughs> I might just be done with Dia Active. I don't know. I've been trying to hang in there, but I don't love it. The last item they sent were these Beyond Yoga leggings. I'm sure they sent this sports bra thinking it would look good with this, which it does look cute together. It's just a little too small. And I don't know, maybe it feels too small because I have my actual bra under it. Maybe it would feel better if I took off this bra. But this is a cute outfit and I, got, I get where they're going with it. I do really like these Beyond Yoga leggings. Um, I don't remember them being see-through, but you can let me know if they are see-through indeed or not. Um, but I do like these leggings and I like this outfit together. So I get where, why they sent this, but I'm just really confused with the purple sweater. I'm like, mm, I don't really get it. And some people are always really with me on the Dia Active. They're like, yeah, girl, no, done with it. And then some people are like, you're too tough on them. I don't know. I'm just like, if I ask for no sports bras, don't send me sports bras. And um, I don't know. I'm just confused with like the fabric of those. And maybe that's what other people are preferring this season. So they sent it to me thinking, oh, like people are really loving this stuff. So maybe she'll love it, but I don't love it. So <laughs> I think I'm sending back all of that stuff. I'm going to try on the sports bra. Like this is popping out. So I don't know if it's ill-fitting or it's just because I have on my bra. Okay, that's a little better. But then this side comes up. So... I don't know if this I'm gonna try it on without my bra and if it fits without my bra I'll keep this bottoms and this top and wear it together that was my idea of active
active box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I'll leave the links to Dia and Co down below. They have the active and the style box. My style box was a win this time. I really loved it. My active box, considering if I keep this in the bottom, that's a win. I mean, it's it's an outfit and it's cute like that's more than enough you you can't always like everything in your box i just really want to like everything in my box <laughs> Jeez, is that too much to ask um maybe because your stylist doesn't know you they're getting to know you but i'm like this is box like number seven or something i feel like they should know me um <clears throat> but i do like that shirt by venus by 11 williams i mean 11 by venus williams i'm just not like head over heels like oh i love this that's why i won't keep it but i will admit those two things look very cute together the fabrics just weren't things that i love so now that i'm done complaining beyond yoga this is a cannel high waisted or maybe it's canal um um high waisted capri in a size 2x in the color black and white the 11 by venus williams that was the reed tank with mesh detail in turquoise and white in a size 3x Active zone mock neck jacket in royal blue was a 3x. Active zone alm sports bra with mesh detail. Where's the mesh detail? In the back? Oh, yep, in the back. Um, charcoal in gray, size 3x. Active zone olive pullover with black detail in the color lilac, which was that sweatshirt, was a size 3x. So, that's everything if you love something and you want to seek it out on your own to buy it but until next time i want to thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you'd like to see style and active together from now on so you can see the compare and contrast what i like what i don't like let me know how you like this format and i'll talk to you guys really soon Bye bye